All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to head out over to the post office. I missed a parcel yesterday. They left a mess, uh, card behind the door saying that it's going to be left at the uh, local post office just down the road. So we're going to head over there, pick it up. I've been looking forward to, uh, to seeing what this looks like in the flesh since I uh, got the email saying that it was on its way and uh, it should be there in a couple of days. So can't wait to get that. Uh, on the tank. Also guys, a little bit of uh, sad news as well. Uh, you'll see in the video, if you are a little bit squeamish, maybe you should fast forward the uh, second part to this video. Um, basically I do my videos each day, a little bit of a journey, you know, through, through the week. If something happens, then I document it. And that's what it is, what it's all about in my channel, is just to document the good, the bad, and sometimes the ugly. Um, and this week for me has been one of those weeks in all fairness so yeah like I said if you had a little bit squeamish maybe you should fast forward the next part but um, hopefully you'll like the video we'll, do, we'll also then take a look at the tank tanks do really good guys really healthy um, and we'll also uh, show you the stuff that I'm actually dosing into the tank now that it's become a little bit stable and a bit a little bit uh, well basically it's 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 doing okay now, so we can we can start to add things. Nutrients are not going up. Nutrients are bang on on point. So yeah, we'll go from there, guys. And I'll see you shortly, hey guys. So, bit of bad news um, this morning. Obviously, the lights are not on. It's early morning. Um, come down, and uh, yeah, if you're a bit squeamish, then uh, turn off. But come down and little lily my mandarin that I've had for five plus years six years is no more she's finally uh, she's finally gone um, so we want to get it out get it out before these snails start getting all over her because yeah it's not nice so absolutely gutted I mean yeah really really gutted about that but um, yeah there's nothing I can do uh, six years old, five, six years old. I think he's pretty reasonable for, uh, you know, a mandarin. As you know, they're all really hard to to keep in captivity anyway, especially especially in an immature tank. But um, she was losing weight anyway, you know, quite for quite some time, even in the other tank. And then when I put her in this, I've been packing it with copepods and microphone and stuff. But yeah. It's uh, it didn't work, so we're gonna take it out, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go from there, guys. So yeah, just thought I'd share it because it's not always uh, sunshine and roses in this hobby, as you know. It's uh, sometimes it's um, sad, but the uh, two little clownfish are still going, so that's the main thing. Right then, guys. So like you've just seen, um, obviously Lily. Um, is no more now when I sit back and I was gutted to be fair um, but when I sit back you know she did have a good life and after doing some research a lot of people do say you know um, that the expectancy life expectancy in in the wild is obviously between 12 and 14 years they say um, but in captivity between two and four so when I look at mine being you know five six years she's been with me I think uh, she's done pretty well, to be fair. But you can rest assured that when I do get my new tank, it's all up and running and it's established. It'll be a good year yet because I want to get that biodiversity in there. I will probably be getting a single... Uh, no, in fact, I'll probably be getting a double pair. I'll probably get a male and a female because out of all the fish, I think they're just absolutely stunning. Um, an incredible fish to have in an aquarium and if you can keep them and keep them alive and keep them healthy, then... You know, you get great joy from him, and uh, I certainly got great joy from watching her. You know, she uh, undertaken quite a bit of uh, turmoil from having a single eye and stuff like that. So, yeah, she done well, but um, definitely it's uh, it's a sad day for me. But uh, on to the better news. We'll go and uh, we'll go and get that parcel from the uh, from the post office, and we'll see what we've got there, guys. been waiting for this for a few days now I've been excited to see what it looks like 
um, since I uh, since I ordered it, and also when the uh, when I got the email saying it was being being delivered, I couldn't wait to to see to see it. So, what this is, guys, this is a custom lid from um, a guy called uh, Reef Tops. Now I'll leave a link in the description or I'll post uh, his picture just here. Uh, I found him on uh, Facebook, and yeah, brilliant guy. I mean, fantastic uh, customer services with him. And what he does is he, you actually tell him what you want. He actually designs it on a CAD system. I'll post a picture and show you exactly what he did. And then I amended it, uh, saying that I didn't want to cut out where the uh, MP40 was because there was no need. And he just adjusted it and did it um, to basically to what you wanted it. So fantastic customer services. Gets in touch with you straight away. Now, what I did is I've just cut this. I've not actually opened it, seen it yet, uh, because I wanted to see it with you guys but basically he's done the this is made out of polycarbonate so it's this is cut out to, to thing so you basically peel this off and then stick it on so so far that's one piece and then the lid is here guys now just look at that this is like a, a little feeding hatch taped up comes with a mesh Stuck down, really stuck down, really, really nice. Really good quality, guys. That's really, really good quality. Now, what I'll do is I'll unpeel it off, put it on the tank, and I'll show you then, guys. Right then, guys, so this is exactly what the lid looks like now. And to be honest, guys, I'm absolutely over the moon with the quality of this uh, of this lid. I mean, it fits absolutely perfect. It's made to measure exceptional quality and really, really fantastic. I mean, let me just get this in the light. This is the feeding hatch. The attention to detail, guys, is, is, is exceptional. And this net is quite tense as well. I mean, sometimes you do see them where they're a little bit loose, well, this is quite a tense, like a, it's really, really pulled in tight. And I'm absolutely over the moon, guys. I mean, just look at that. It's absolutely brilliant. I mean, granted, it sits on the top, on the lip of it. But I can live with that. That's perfect for me. And then we have this, like I said, cut out just exactly the way I wanted it, just to go around there. And it's absolutely perfect. And then we've got a little cut out here. Now, the one caveat, I suppose, to it, guys, is if you wanted to maybe add, like, say, an ATO, which, I mean, at this moment in time, I'm just using the jug and topping it up. But the reality, if, if for instance, you needed a, uh, a you know, a, another lid, he could just do this for you. Just make another one of these. Maybe cut out a piece here, like that, like so, a bit like that, or like this. And then you can get the uh, back bracket that you could put the ATO in. So... Either way, it's, it's irrelevant. You, you, you can still sort that out. And this, I mean, it won't even cost much for this. It'll probably cost you, what, about 10, 15 quid for another one of them. But for me, guys, the quality of this is exceptional. Like I said, I'll leave a comment. I'll leave a, a link in his description, in the description below. Um, and I'll leave a picture um, so you can see. But what we'll do is, like I said, I think that just makes it off. I just think it absolutely makes it what it is now it just looks perfect the little nano is doing fantastic now what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at the uh, corals before before we go guys and so far so good one thing you will notice is the little hammer that did not make it guys um it did exactly the same as the other so we put these little zoas here some more chaos and a bit of mixture still got a little bit of algae but the algae's going now um, to be fair, everything is, uh, all the corals are doing really, really good, really fantastic and opened up on it. I mean, just look at this hammer here. It's actually overlapping the green one and the frog spawn. I've got this on super white lights near enough this, to be fair. Then we've got the splatter one, the splatter hammer, which is doing fantastic as well. And then we've got the little guys doing the thing. They're still uh, loving life. And they're doing really well, guys. So I'm happy that they're, they, they've settled in to the little home. And um, everything, like I said, other than little Lily passing away, is doing really, really good, to be honest. And even this Gorgonian, 
which uh, wasn't doing too good. It's actually coming back, starting to get the polyps out. We've moved the power header over to the uh, other side. If you remember, it was over more into the, to the middle side, but we moved it over here and it seems to like a, the flow a lot more better. Now I did mention that I'm going to start started dosing. And we started putting the uh, Brilliant Corals Essential CVE. I've been putting just a little touch of this into the uh, into the tank, and I think that's just helped all of the corals just come out. I mean, I basically turn it off, turn the power heads off, just let it settle, and then I give it a blast, and then we dose in the coral power grow. As well as the aminos, we've been putting some of the aminos, only a very minute amount, guys. We're talking, I think it's about a mil or something like that, uh, of it. And then we've got the Fritz glass cleaner that we've been using to, to give it a good clean. But other than that, we've been feeding these little guys some brine shrimp. Um, I did try to feed them my uh, customary uh, fish food, but I think that's a bit too rich for them. So the uh, I've gone on. I've had to go on to the uh, blister packs, which, as you know, you know my opinion. Um, but hopefully, as they get older, we can get them onto the uh, to the food that I make, and we can go from there, guys. But other than that, I mean, I did try them on these little uh, the Hikari Marine. Now it's hit and miss. Sometimes they did eat it, and sometimes they didn't. Um, but yeah, we'll stick to the brine shrimp because I know that's what they eat, so we're going to uh, leave it there, guys, but hopefully, I mean, hopefully you like this video. I know it's a little bit of a hit and miss, bit of a sad affair, but, uh, you know, it's just one of those, like, one of those things happens in the reef, guys, and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll uh, just move on from there, but rest assured, when I get my new tank, we're going to definitely get some, uh, some more, some more mandarin fish into there, and we'll, uh, yeah, fingers crossed they'll uh, do just as good as what Lily did. But uh, I'll leave it there, guys. And until next week, click the thumbs up, like, leave a comment below as always. And uh, unless I see you on the live stream, I'll see you on the next week's video. Take care, guys.